And to report the WBTM 13 live Doppler radar is scanning clear skies now, but we don't have the rain chances in the forecast for a couple of days. So we get this afternoon with the rain chances out clearing skies and then full sunshine on Monday. By Tuesday, the rain chances will build with the day. Cloudiness will continue. It'll get more humid too. And then I think late on Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning, we're going to see some rain moving in. Temperatures this morning were in the 40s. It was a little cooler, of course, by about 4 o'clock in the morning, but we had some 30s there. And we're going to have a whole lot more widespread 30s in the morning tomorrow morning. A big ridge of high pressure that's going to sink southward and increase those cooler temperatures by tomorrow morning on the thermometer. But for today, we can see the blue skies in the backdrop. This is our WBTM 13 sky camera mounted here on top of our studios, giving you that fisheye lens of a little bit of cloudiness still left behind, not producing anything underneath the clouds, though. And then low 50s between about 1 and 4. We may see a couple of spots getting closer to the mid to upper 50s, but a couple of things I want to detail in your seven day forecast are the showers later in the day on Tuesday. So rain chances are out for the next couple of days, but on Tuesday, that's 9 p.m. on Tuesday. So the showers late will be certainly after sunset. And then a few heavier downpours are possible by Wednesday morning in Northwest Alabama. It's a quick moving system, believe it or not. And we get a break on Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving looks just fine for cooking, opening up the windows, the rainmaker. That's going to build out to our west on Friday night. That's going to impact your Iron Bowl Saturday forecast. But in the interim, because it's still six days out, uh, we'll make some tweaks to that Saturday forecast. So let's get you through the rainmaker on Tuesday night and Wednesday. And then by Thursday, the clouds are going to hang tight, but it'll be chilly outside in the morning for any of that cooking. And then by midday, it'll still be cloudy and cool, but really a nice day and more sunshine too by the time we get into late afternoon for Thanksgiving. So it looks like a pretty decent week 